We pray as well for the requests that have come to us from David and Nardell. We pray for Wayne, who's going through uh, chemo treatments. Ben, still needing prayer for his headaches. For the young man who's gone through chemo. For Ross, who is struggling with ALS. Joy, who is recovering from three strokes, dear Lord. Sarah, who is recovering from an accident and her ongoing therapy. We pray for every one of these individuals and their specific circumstances. You're aware, Lord. We ask that you will superintend. And may these folks know that you're in charge and that you are doing a good work in their lives. Help them to be patient. Help them to be victorious in their spirits to maintain a sense of trust in you. Lord, we also pray for the requests that come to us from Brian and Melody Bigham as well and family members that uh, are needing God's touch. We know there's been a death in their family uh, with the passing of Brian's uh, aunt recently. We ask that, Lord God, your will will be accomplished beautifully in each and wonderful and the areas of their lives. Thank you, Father. We also pray for the request that's come to us from Margaret Shepherd for praying for friends from Manitoba who have a 16-month-old baby by the name of Br uh, Brin Brinley, uh, who has brain cancer, stage four. We ask in the name of Jesus for this precious child. Lord God, we lift them up to you. Uh, this child, along with the mom and dad and the family, we ask that you would intervene and that your will would be fully accomplished. Pray for physical healing and touch from your special, from your hand. We thank you now, Lord God, for what you're doing in this situation, and we lift them up to you. In Jesus' name we pray. And Father, now we pray for those that are working in essential services. We pray for the first responders, for police, firefighters, and paramedics. We pray for those that are in the food industry. We pray for those that are in health care. We pray for those custodians in the hospitals, clinics, yes. and schools. We thank you for what they are doing to provide service mm -hmm. in a very, very difficult time. Mm -hmm. Lord, we pray for those that are in transportation, that you'll protect them as well, in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. And as we conclude tonight, we're going we're gonna to pray the Lord's Prayer, which we usually do. The Lord has asked us to pray this prayer. And I just particularly feel as we close tonight, Colleen, that there are a number of people that you've talked with, I've talked with, who just recently, even in the last days and hours, who've said they've just become so weary mm -hmm with this COVID and mm -hmm. they're not complaining. It's not about being people uh, being unthankful for what they have, but they're just becoming so fatigued and weary. It's wearing on their spirits. It's wearing on their minds. It's wearing on their emotions. It's wearing on their bodies. I just, I just feel we're at a point right now, even in Edmonton here, I can sense it across Alberta and across our nation. People are so weary. People are hanging in there. And that's fantastic, you know. This will pass. This will pass. But until then, I just really sense we need the Lord's special touch. Mm -hmm. And for if there's any of you here tonight as we close mm -hmm. who just got so weary and you know, you're just you feel like you've hit a wall or you just can't even carry on and you can barely get out of bed in the morning. Um, we want to pray a special prayer. And what we're gonna do, I really sense we're gonna pray the Lord's prayer. And pray the Lord's Prayer because parts of the Lord's Prayer talk about the provision that he has. Like even saying, we need your daily bread. Well, that's not just for hunger, but that's, that's to keep us sustained in our spirits, our lives. So the Lord's Prayer is powerful. And so I had to ask you, if you're feeling in this regard, or if you know someone it is, maybe step in place of them and pray for them and with them. And, and let's just pray together, believing that God will begin to touch people's minds and hearts and spirits. Spirits. Right now, as we pray in the name of Jesus, that people will begin to sense a peace that will come over them. Even tonight, so that as we're taping this in the evening on Tuesday, November the 24th, and, and if you're watching it at a different time, even as you go to bed tonight, or even if Tuesday, tonight, that the, the Lord will just give you rest and peace, that he will give you a sense of calm, of calm. Vincent oh, Churchill said, what does it say? You know, stay calm and carry on. And so we want to be calm, and God will give us that tranquility and serenity that we need. 
So join us, would you? I'm going to pray it slowly and meaningfully so that you can follow along with us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May he give you grace that abounds for all the circumstances. And may he give you a peace tonight and tomorrow and the next day that will just absolutely confound your comprehension and logic. And you'll wonder, why am I feeling so peaceful? And then you'll know it's God above. We love you. We appreciate you. And now, may you continue to love the Lord with all of your heart, mind, and soul and your neighbor. As yourself. God bless you and uh, may the Lord be with you.